Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We have x to the power, x to the power, x plus 1 equals 2 to 256. 2 to do, it's not 2 to do. So, to solve for x, we're going to do a couple different things here. I'll make two attempts. And let's start with the first attempt. So, I'm going to go ahead and log both sides. Okay, I'll use the natural log for this. So ln x to the power x to the power x plus 1 equals ln 256. And then the rule says we can bring down the exponent. So this we can kind of bring to the front. And that becomes x to the power x plus 1 times ln x equals ln 256. Obviously, at this point, if we're comparing these two things, it would make more sense if we did something on the right-hand side, kind of break it down. And 256 can be written in a couple different ways. And one of them is actually going to be the following. But before we do that, let me just do ln one more time. Because I still, I want to get rid of all the powers. Okay, so let me go ahead and ln both sides one more time. And I'm going to get something like this. This is a product. The product, the ln of a product is just going to be ln the first thing plus ln the second thing. So in other words, ln a times b is ln a plus ln b. Okay? And this is equal to ln ln 256. But guess what? This doesn't look very helpful, does it? So it's not really going to help me. So let's go ahead and do something else. Instead of doing this, let's just bring this to the front and then work on the right hand side. And 256 can be written as 2 to the 8th power. So I'm going to go ahead and write this as ln 2 to the 8th, right? And then bring this 8 to the front, x to the x plus 1 times ln x equals 8 times ln 2. And finally, I can write 8 as 2 to the third power. That's definitely going to help me because of the pattern that we have. Now, notice that if you compare these two things, right, you're going to see a one-to-one -one correspondence, right? Because if x is equal to 2, x plus 1 is equal to 3, and this will work, that will work, everything will work. So nice. Happy ending. Which means x equals 2 works. Is that the only solution? Let's go ahead and check it out. So this was my first attempt. I found an x value. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second approach. Because the second approach actually uses a different idea and doesn't use log, it uses exponentials. Now, here's one thing I want you to notice. I call this an interesting exponential equation because most exponential equations are interesting. And if there is an exponential equation that is not interesting, that's going to be very interesting, right? Okay, so this is a little different than x to the x to the x, but it's actually better. That's an improvement, and you'll see why in a little bit. So here's what I want to do. I want to break down the x to, x to the power x plus 1. Since the exponents are added, that indicates multiplication. So I can write this as x to the x times x to the power 1, which is just x, right? Let's write it as x. Make sense? So I basically turned this into that. Okay? Now I have the following and this is equal to 256. Great. Let's do more work. Now notice that this x and this x to the x are multiplied so we can switch them around and now this is the aha moment, right? Hopefully. Notice that we can kind of write this as x to the power x to the power x to the power x. Nice. Okay, now we can go ahead and write the 256 this time as 2 to the 8th, but also 2 to the 2nd to the 4th or 4 to the 4th. Very nice. That was nice. This is very nice, right? So we basically got the following. x to the x to the power, the same thing, equals 4 to the 4. You know what that means? Substitution. Let's go ahead and call this y, and please don't ask why. 
we get y to the y equals 4 to the 4. Does that mean y equals 4? Absolutely. And from here, x to the x equals 4. And as you should know, this has a single solution, x equals 2, right? Are there complex solutions? That would be a good question, but this is the only real solution. Now, you might be thinking at this point, should we use Lambert's W function? Sure, you can use it. Definitely that can be done. I'm going to leave it as an exercise. But x equals 2 is also verified one more time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph because we're finding a single solution, but is that the only one? If you look at the graph, and by the way, I like Desmos uh, graphs, but I think Wolfram Alpha is better because notice we can fit it on a screen, right? Because of the scaling. Thank you. Anyways, so you can see that this function is increasing at least on that interval nearby the two, and we have a single solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.